At that point of time, uh, Malaysia Cup is a favourite lah, you know. So I always go. And you know, every time I see last when Sundram scored the basket king against Brunei. So we try to imitate and do it at the basketball court. You know, which yeah, I nearly broke my head. <laughs> but you know, that's yeah, we see Malik take corner, we also want to take corner like Malik Awam. We see Kade overlap, we see funny chess, we want to see funny. We also want to do. So that's how I watch football and I just try to imitate when I see them. 2005, when uh, Radi won his first Suzuki Cup, you know, uh, Singapore football wasn't given any chance going into the Suzuki Cup. I remember clearly, I was 15 years old and I, I caught on that, uh, the wave of uh, you know, the Tiger Cup success then. Uh, the team did well in the group stages, you know, when we went, uh, went on to the semis and also the, the final, what the day it was. I, mean, I remember clearly sitting among uh, the fans wearing all red, you know, cheering every goal when Indra scored, when Agu scored, you know. So I think it was a wonderful feeling, and, and uh, they gave me uh, motivation, you know, to, to want to do my best, to be the best footballer I can, and uh, to eventually represent the national team. I remember uh, watching uh, Agu Kashmir, Itimi Dixon, and all. My dad used to bring me when I was uh, very young, probably eight, nine years old. And the weird thing when. Uh, when I got called up uh, to Lion Shop, Agu came to me and Agu like, Hey, I know you. You were the ball picker during then like 10 years down the road and playing with him. So that's something funny. Like, we started off young, being uh, uh, idolizing them, watching them and ball picking. And then 10 years down the road, I'm with them. So it's uh, that's something that kids should look forward to. Like. Back then, my parents will bring me to the Kalang Stadium to watch. Um, Football, you know, back then is a like a Malaysia Cup, you know. Yeah, uh, we we see a lot of player back, back then. You know, my favorite is Fandi Ahmad and Sundramuti, and now they are they are my coach. You know, they 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 are a legend for in in Singapore football, and of course we look up to them, and you know is. Uh, it's a blessing for me. Uh, growing up, I mean, we watch certain players. I think Nolam Shah was my favourite player. And, and then um, Indra Shah and Shah as well. So right now, to you know, walk amongst them, you know, speaking to them on a regular basis, players that you actually look up to, Haris Arun itself. So I think it's a, uh, I would say that I feel blessed because, you know, these players are, yes, they are the humans after all. People always say they're humans, but, you know, you look up to them, they're your idols and you actually like, get to speak to them on a regular basis. It's something that's dreamy, I would say and uh, something that I actually always look forward to when there's events, even like press conferences, I always look forward to it and you know, talking to them, getting to know how they're getting on with their football careers is, is something that I really feel blessed to do.